Okay, hi there, welcome to a micro video. Uh, we're going to look at an aspect of revenue theory for microeconomics and just spend a few minutes thinking about price takers and price makers in different market structures. So first of all, the idea of a price taker, a price taking business will operate in a highly or perfectly competitive market structure. So if a business is a price taker, they literally have no independent pricing power. Effectively, they are passive price takers. They accept the prevailing market price and just do as well as they can by selling as many units as they can at that particular price. Price takers have a very low percentage market share. This means they have very limited power in the market. Typically, you associate this with perfect competition where every supplier is essentially selling the same or homogenous uh, product or commodity. Now, if a firm is a price taker, their demand curve will be perfectly elastic. Uh, they're selling perfect substitutes to other suppliers. Average revenue will equal marginal revenue, as I've shown here. And uh, you're selling every unit of output at uh, £20. So you then sell at the same price, in which case the price per unit is the same, £20, and the marginal revenue will be the same as the average revenue. So total revenue will rise in a linear function as output goes up. £100 if you sell 5 units, £200 if you sell 10, and so on. So that's a price taker. Price maker uh, is more realistic. Clearly it's a business, any business, which has some essence, some degree of market power to set their own prices for the goods and services they have brought to market. You, you will find a price maker in any any imperfectly competitive market structure. Monopolistic competition, duopoly, oligopoly through to monopoly. So a firm has some degree of discretion or autonomy or choice over the prices it charges. Indeed, and oftentimes they'll charge different prices to different people for essentially the same product. We call that price discrimination. Now, crucially, for a price maker, the demand curve is downward sloping. And if is that if that is the case, average revenue falls, marginal revenue, the change in the total revenue from selling the next unit, MR will be below average revenue with a gradient of twice uh, the average revenue curve. So MR will cut the x-axis, as shown here, halfway from where AR will cut the x-axis. Crucially, price makers have some pricing power. They'll face a downward sloping average revenue curve. MR will be below average revenue to cut the price from 30 to 20 to sell 15 extra units. Let's just do a quick contrast here. So on the left-hand side, price takers. On the right-hand side here, price makers. And the key exam hint, look out for the phrase price maker or price taker. In exam questions, oftentimes in a multiple choice or short answer question, these phrases will be used. That will give you an important clue as to the shape of the average revenue curve and the associated MR curve that you'll, that you'll need to use in your analysis diagrams. So there we go. A quick video on price takers and price makers. Thank you.